Is it now time to finally upgrade your computer hardware? I mean, we know that Windows 10 is coming to an end of life for this year, and that means no more updates, no more security updates, and no more support. But our Windows 10 is working perfectly fine, so why should we upgrade? Are we really missing out on anything special if we don't upgrade? That's what you guys have been constantly asking, and I wanted to find out, so I partnered with Intel as I'm heading over to CES in Las Vegas, where they promised to not only answer this question, but also show me some really cool tech. So come with me as we head over to CES. Well, I'm here now. So, what are we missing out if we don't upgrade our hardware? My name is Robert Halleck. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of AI and Technical Marketing for Intel's CPU division. Most customers own their laptops for about five years, and uh, you know, myself included. Actually, I bought my laptop in 2020, uh, and I look at the performance of that system versus what we offer now in 25. It is literally five to 10 times faster. In, in conventional applications, uh, it's faster in graphics, it's faster in productivity, it's faster in web browsing, it's faster, in, like literally everything that you're doing is, is significantly faster. And uh, battery life is another key piece. I get about four hours of battery life on my 2020 system when I really use it, but on my new Lunar Lake system, which I got through work, uh, I get 10, 12 hours of battery life. And so it's just way more convenient to travel with it. It's faster, it's more responsive. And the other big motivator, uh, which applies, I think, both equally to users and businesses, is uh, the upcoming refresh cycle around Windows 11. Many people are still on Windows 10. That is reaching its end of life. And so there's going to be a, a forced upgrade to Windows 11 for security reasons. And you want to make sure that you have the hardware and the performance to run that upgrade there is going to be a wholesale transition to pretty much any type of software that is deployed in your corporate environment is probably gonna have one or more AI-based features. And AI accelerators were simply not present in the hardware you probably have today. And, and so you could be in the situation where choose to stay with the system you have. Uh, every single user in your corporate environment can be missing out on huge, huge performance gains, huge battery life gains, and and from like a manageability perspective, a lot of security research, endpoint management, endpoint security is, is going to use these AI accelerators. What we're working on with solutions like vPro will make these systems easier to deploy, easier to manage, more secure, more reliable. And you know, at the end of the day, that's like the fundamental <laughs> that everybody wants. So what stands out for me is how the benefit for both personal computers as well as your business computers, how the benefits are the same. If that's what you want, and let's be honest, that is everything that we all want, well, then an Intel Core Ultra-based PC or laptop should be on your must-buy list. Now, as I'm walking around this cool tech demo that they've got set up, I notice this tiny little computer that's generating videos. Uh, does that mean I'm out of a job soon? Hi, my name is Craig Raymond. I'm a client technologist here at Intel. I'm here to show you some amazing new capabilities that we have in our brand new AI PCs. I'm here with the second generation of Intel Core Ultra Series 2, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna run some amazing AI models, all local on your PC, without even going up to the cloud and the internet. And we're seeing this more and more about the amazing things that you can do by having NPU or AI dedicated hardware directly on your machine. And here we're actually running an open source model, which is LTX Video. And this allows us to actually take a prompt of text and actually turn it into a full motion video setup. And so in this case, we're actually using Comfy UI here, which is, uh, it's, a, it's a great kind of framework as far as how to string together your models to create amazing AI workflows. This is something where you can create fully digital actors as well as amazing scenes without having a studio, without having lighting rigs, and without having live actors. None of these people are real that we're taking a look at. Really, we're looking at 
working at the next generation of generative AI here. We can do this all on your laptops that we take around everywhere that we do today, as long as it's an AI PC from Intel. Okay, I'm back to my little corner here. And one thing I can actually see is massive benefits. Once you have a great idea, you have some knowledge to share, then you let the Intel Core Ultra Base PC take over and do the execution for you. And because all of this actually runs locally and you don't need an internet connection, well, that actually takes working from anywhere to a whole other level. So as I thought I was done and I've seen every cool thing there is to see here, something kind of caught my eye that was completely unexpected. My name is Mary Abraham. I'm part of Intel Automotive. What we have here is our AI enhanced software defined vehicle concept. So what we're showcasing here is that we can run multiple workloads all on a single platform. Some of the features are in our control panel here. So for example, if I press Vision AI, some of our AI enhancements come out. We also have a conversational, real-time conversational assistant where you can ask the questions and it gives you real-time responses. One other feature we have here is a way to show different efficiency modes while driving. So if you look at the uh, dashboard display here, when it's in highway driving, you can see it's an all-wheel drive. And then you'll see when it goes down to around 60, it will switch back to normal. Now coming to the rear seat, what we're trying to do is bring the living room experience into the back seat of the car. So for example, we have two separate displays per passenger. They're both running Android virtual machines, so they can have a personalized experience. And we also have a ceiling display, which is doing a bunch of VM, so they can have a shared experience of playing a game together or watching a movie together. Obviously, this is a concept, but it's very easy to see how in the not so distant future, we're gonna be able to have our cars who are gonna be essential mobile powerhouse PCs doing all this really cool stuff for us. And it's great to see just how much Intel is invested in making that happen. Whether it's for work or whether it's for play, one thing that I'm super excited having spent so much time with the Intel team at CES is the AI inside for a new era. So much cool stuff is coming up. Check out the link in the description below for more information. What is an NPU? What is a GPU? What is a CPU and how does it work together? Check out this video right over here. Give the video a quick thumbs up to like it and um, I'm gonna go find someone to ask about that gaming rig. For testing purposes only, of course. Uh, Intel, 